I've managed to completely fix all of Warzone's terrible visibility problems, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can do it too. Now, before you guys get ahead of yourselves and think you know best, this is not going to be completely in-game settings, and it's also not going to be NVIDIA filters. The two methods I'm going to be covering today have little to no effect on FPS whatsoever and still give you incredible visibility. The only requirement for both of these settings at a base level is that you have an NVIDIA graphics card, and for one of the methods, you're going to need one of the newer RTX cards. The results of them are both really good, but they do look a little different in the end. Okay, so jumping into method number one, this is going to involve adding a sharpening filter, but not through NVIDIA filters. As I mentioned, NVIDIA filters can really bring the FPS down of your game, so we're not going to be doing that. Instead, what we're going to be doing is using an option which was actually hidden in the NVIDIA control panel a little while back in some older driver updates, and it was replaced with a different option which isn't too useful. So if you open up your NVIDIA control panel, go to your global settings in Manage 3D Settings, and go all the way to the top, you'll see maybe an option here that says image scaling. You'll see an image of it here. Um, if it says image scaling, it means you're on a newer card, a newer driver, uh, and a lot of you guys are probably in that situation. Image scaling isn't too useful. Image sharpening, however, which I've managed to get back, this is an old legacy saying, which is incredibly useful. Uh, well, if you're able to use this, it has no effect on FPS and it really sharpens up your games. So to get this back, all you're gonna do is close down your NVIDIA control panel. I'm not gonna do it because I won't need to. And then you're gonna open up registry editor, which you simply get to by coming down to the star area here and typing in reg edit. Okay, then you're gonna open this you'll be greeted with this screen and you're going to follow these folders all the way down. So it's going to be H key local machine system, current control set, uh, services, and then we're scrolling down, 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 down to one called NVLD DMKM, bit of a mouthful, then FTS. So click that folder and you'll see a bunch of these words on the side here. We're looking for one called enable GR535. Simply double click on that. The value data here will likely be set to one. All you're gonna do is set it to zero, which I have already done. Click OK, close out of the registry editor, and then restart your PC. Then when you come back on and you go into your 3D settings, you will have image sharpening instead, which as I've said, is incredibly useful. Then what I'd recommend you do is go to program settings, and in the drop down menu for select a program to customize, you're going to select Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, that's basically Warzone. It's still running off of the Modern Warfare launcher. So that's what we're going to select here. And then come down to image sharpening and just change it to my settings currently are 0.65 sharpen and ignore film grain 0.17. The ignore film grain bit, just leave it as default. Changing this can have some weird effects on how the game actually ends up looking. Uh, and then the sharpening is kind of personal preference. If you want to make it more sharp, you can turn it more than 0.65. If you think it looks too sharp, you can turn it down a little bit. You're then going to press OK, and then there'll be an apply button down here, and you'll have it applied. We aren't done yet, however, because after turning on this sharpening filter, we can do something else which is going to really tie this all together for this first method. So open up the game, and you should have uh, a sharper looking game already. Then go to graphics, go to quality, and scroll all the way down to your anti-aliasing settings. A lot of people, even myself, without sharpening on, have recommended that you run this anti-aliasing at either off or SMAA1X. Well, the reason we always recommend that is because these T2X options uh, look really blurry. But what they actually do very well is they remove a lot of the jagged lines and the shimmering, especially from the trees and the vegetation on Caldera. Well, now that we've applied a sharpening filter, what we can do is turn anti-aliasing all the way up to Filmic SMAA T2X, and then you want to turn your filmic strength to zero. Uh, by doing this, you're basically applying the anti-aliasing, so you're removing all of the jagged edges and the horrible shimmering that you get from looking around, which makes the game blurry, but then we're applying that sharpening filter on top, giving us incredible visibility. I absolutely love this method, it's the one that I personally use, but now what we're going to do is move on to the second method, which you might prefer. So for method number two, as I mentioned, you're going to need a 30 or 20 series card, so an RTX card, and that will give you access to some of the deep learning technologies that we're going to be using uh, to achieve, once again, some pretty incredible uh, visibility results in Warzone. So to follow along this one, you need to go to Manage 3D Settings, then Global Settings, and then if you come down to DSR Factors, so you have to do this global, you can't do it on a program-by-program -program basis, unfortunately, uh, we're going to be selecting one of the uh, 
uh, RTX specific DL scaling modes. Let me give a quick description of what this is doing. DSR, or dynamic super resolution, takes your game, like your 1080p game, it scales it up to 1440p, for example, so a higher resolution, aka better quality, better visibility, but usually lower FPS. And then what it's doing is it then basically uses a smart downscaling filter to bring it back down to 1080p so it looks decent on your monitor and runs at decent FPS. Now, the new deep learning DSR options that we get uh, have pretty much little to no effect on FPS. Maybe you lose a tiny bit, but they're very, very efficient. You can even see here it says you get the same quality, but they're two times more efficient. So I'd recommend that you simply tick the 1.78x DL scaling here. So that's going to take my 1080p, upscale it by 1.78 times, which puts me at 2560 by 1440 or 1440p. Then make sure none of these other ones are ticked. Click OK, click apply it down the bottom, and then we're going to jump back into Warzone. So now we're back in the settings menu for Warzone. What you're gonna need to do is make sure the game is running at full screen, because if you run the game at full screen borderless, you can't change your display resolution. And then you're gonna come down to display resolution, which is in the advanced area underneath render resolution. Click the display resolution box, and then you're gonna select the newly available 1440p, which if you didn't have that box enabled in control panel, you wouldn't have. Now, if you are already running the game at 1440p, you would have an even greater resolution in here. It all kind of works the same if you guys are following along with it. So you're just gonna select the one above your native resolution. That's gonna make the game look nice and sharp because you're running at a higher resolution, makes sense. But the FPS will have lowered. So to regain that FPS and more, we're gonna combine DLDSR with a more commonly known technique of DLSS, which as you can see on the side here, it uses AI super resolution to provide the highest possible frame rates at maximum graphics settings. Essentially what DLSS does, which is dynamic, uh, sorry, deep learning super sampling, is it takes whatever the, uh, the resolution you're running at. So we're actually running the game at 1440p now. When we turn on DLSS, what it's gonna do is it's gonna downscale the uh, resolution to 1080p, which makes the game run once again more efficiently uh, because we're running at a, technically a lower resolution. And then it's gonna super sample it back up to 1440p. So let's go through the steps of what's happened here. DLDSR in the NVIDIA control panel has upscaled our game from 1080p to 1440p, but we've lost some FPS. So it's given us some increased fidelity, but we've lost FPS. Then we're using DLSS to maintain pretty much all of that fidelity, but regain a ton of FPS. So what you want to set it to here is quality. If you select any of the other options, it looks terrible, but quality looks great. Apply that and you're all done. You've got DLDSR and DLSS working in tandem to give you really sharp games of Warzone. Go try out both those methods, see how they work out for you. If you have any problems with any of the steps you followed, any issues you run into, go down in the comments, leave a comment for me, and I will respond to them as soon as possible. This has been absolutely game-changing for me in Warzone. I can actually play the game and spot enemies that I could never spot before. And if you guys love it too, it would be awesome if you could drop a like down below and subscribe for more videos coming very soon. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.